King Charles will look weak and unconvincing if he agrees to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's demands, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke of Sussex has demanded an apology from the royal family to his wife Meghan Markle during an interview as he sat down with the journalist to speak about his memoir Spare. With King Charles's coronation approaching, the talks are on whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be a part of the grand ceremony. King Charles has reportedly asked the Archbishop of Canterbury to broker a deal to allow Harry to attend his coronation. It has been reported that Charles wants Justin Welby to strike an agreement with his warring sons that would allow Harry and his wife Meghan to attend the Westminster Abbey ceremony in May. However, royal expert Angela Levin believes that King Charles must leave Harry at home writing for Sky News, Ms. Levine explained how the Duke of Sussex has publicly humiliated the royal family. She writes, when asked in a TV interview, to promote Spare, if he'd be at the coronation his blasé response was, the ball is in their court. There's a lot to be discussed. He also wants an apology to Meghan. A large number of British citizens say they are the ones who deserve an apology from the Sussexes. I believe the king will be a great monarch but he mustn't give in to Harry and Meghan's demands, which will make him look weak and unconvincing. His image as well as his reign begins with the coronation, so he must leave Harry at home. King Charles Ives' coronation will take place on Saturday, May 6, 2023 at Westminster Abbey in London. During the ceremony, the King will be crowned alongside Camilla, the Queen Consort. The King will be crowned with the solid gold 17th century St. Edward's crown. It is exceptionally heavy and only used at the moment of crowning, and was also worn by Queen Elizabeth at her own coronation. Meanwhile, according to the latest Ipsos poll conducted for the London Evening Standard, two-thirds of Britons think the Duke should attend the ceremony at Westminster Abbey in May.